Hi friends, it's good to be with you. I have a fun story to share with you. It's about a penguin who has a big question. Have you guys ever had a big question that you just wonder about all the time? Well, in our story, this little penguin has a question that he keeps looking for answers to. And let's see if he finds out the answers to his question. This story is called, How Deep Is the Sea? It's written by Anna Milborn and Serena Rigetti. So actually it's written by Anna Milborn and the, the illustrator is Serena Riglietti. So she wrote, drew the pictures. Okay, Pipkin was a very small penguin who was always asking very big questions. How big was a dinosaur? Does chocolate grow on trees? What makes snow fall from the sky? But the thing he wanted to know most of all was, how deep is the sea? Penguins are really good swimmers, said his mama. Why don't you go and have a look? She wanted him to go check out for himself how deep is the sea. Pipkin took a very deep breath and dived into the sea. He swam down a little way into the sparkling blue and found a, a seal catching a silver fish. Excuse me, said Pipkin, how deep is the sea? Deep enough to hold more fish than I could ever catch, said the seal. Would you like to stay for lunch? Sorry, I can't stop now, said Pipkin. I'm off to find the bottom of the sea. He swam down a little further into the deepening blue and found the biggest creature he'd ever seen, singing a rumbly song. Excuse me, Pipkin said. How deep is the sea? Deeper than a big blue whale like me has ever been, said the creature. Would you like to stay and sing to my blue whale friends across the sea? Sorry, I can't stop now, said Pipkin. I'm off to find the bottom of the sea. Pipkin swam down a little further into the darkening blue and found a salty sea dog in a yellow submarine. Excuse me, said Pipkin. How deep is the sea? Deep enough to need a submarine to reach the very bottom, said the salty sea dog. I'm going there now. Would you like to join me? Yes, please, said Pipkin. Pipkin's going to get to go for a ride in that cool submarine. What a special treat for a little penguin. The submarine took them down and down and down to where the sea turned night black and there was no one else around. Then, one by one, twinkling lights began to appear. All kinds of wonderful lit-up creatures were swimming around in the dark. Excuse me, said Pipkin, how deep is the sea? Deep enough to have whole mountains at the bottom, said one of the twinkly creatures. Look! And sure enough, just below was a range of towering mountains. Is this the very deepest part? asked Pipkin. Not quite, said the twinkly creature, and it pointed to a valley. Down there is the very deepest part of the sea. Down 
So the yellow submarine took them down into the valley. It was very deep and very dark and very, very quiet. Flump went to the submarine as it landed on the bottom. Well, I guess that was a sound. Flump went the submarine as it landed on the bottom. I wonder whether anything lives all the way down here, whispered Pipkin. They peered into the darkness, but nothing came to say hello. They sat for a while at the bottom of the sea with miles and miles of water above them. Ready to go home? asked the salty sea dog. Yes, please, said Pipkin. The yellow submarine took them all the way back up to the top of the sea. Pit -pit Pipkin said to his mama, the sea is very, very deep. It is deep enough to hold more fish than a seal can ever eat, and deeper than a big blue whale has ever been, and deep enough to have whole mountains at the bottom, and lots of twinkly creatures hardly anyone's ever seen. And it's deep enough for small penguins to have very big adventures, said his mama, as she rubbed him dry. I'm proud of you, my little Pip. Why was Pipkin's mom proud of him? Was it because he didn't quit asking his question until he got an answer? He kept asking everyone he met his big question. He was so curious and finally he found someone who could show him the answer to his question. Remember the salty sea dog? He knew how deep the sea was and he took Pip Pipkin down to see it. When you guys have questions, it's great to ask them. And if the first person you ask doesn't know the answer, that's okay, keep asking. That's how we learn and grow, asking questions. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. It was great to see you, and I'll see you again soon, okay? Bye-bye.